Hey guys, what's up and welcome or welcome back to another video. If you are new here, hello and welcome to you. My name is Anissa and in today's video we are going to be discussing all of my first signs and symptoms of how I knew I was pregnant before my missed period and before my big positive. I know that when I was first thinking, had the thought of thinking that I was pregnant, I went straight to YouTube and Dr. Google and I was looking up so many different things on what was the first signs and um, symptoms of pregnancy that people experience and everyone had different symptoms and different signs and so on and so forth. So I know I really enjoyed watching those videos throughout the time that I was at least thinking that I was pregnant. Um, yeah, it just kind of eased my mind to know that other people were experiencing weird things with their body when it came to thinking that they were pregnant. So yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So my very first sign how I knew I was pregnant was motion sickness. Ryan and I were engaged and I was on my way to go to Las Vegas. I was on a flight to Las Vegas for my bachelorette party and I had got motion sickness on the plane. Now I have been on airplanes a numerous amount of times for work and traveling and all of that and I have never been sick on a plane you guys. So that was a little strange to me. It was a little odd. I have never been on a plane and felt like I was about to pass out. I was sweating bullets you guys I felt like I could not breathe <laughs> maybe I'm being dramatic I don't know but I had gotten motion sickness very bad I never ever on an airplane have ever been sick before so that was just a little strange to me that was the first thing that put in my mind maybe I'm pregnant you know I was thinking it but I was like nah I had never had anything to drink on the plane or anything like that so it was just completely strange, completely odd, but I went about my trip and once I got to the hotel though, I met my girls there and I got motion sickness again. We were in the elevator going up to our room and I just felt so sick. You know when you get in an elevator and you hit that drop like when it initially takes off? This was not that, okay? I this was something else like I didn't understand it I just thought maybe I ate something bad I have food poisoning I remember my friend she was like girl you're pregnant I was like nah stop it <laughs> you know uh, for so long I had been trying to conceive and we had been trying to have a baby and we were about to get married and we have been together for six years and I had never gotten pregnant you know um, I've had times to where I was thinking I was pregnant and it just didn't pan out that way so I didn't want to psych myself out you know the thought of it made me really happy but I didn't want to get upset because I had so many no's before that I just wanted to miss my period and you know take a test and know that I was pregnant that's how I wanted it to go I wanted to avoid all the signs all the symptoms I just wanted to miss my period take a pregnancy test and know I was pregnant but that did not happen in this case. <laughs> at that time at my bachelorette party in Vegas I was two weeks pregnant. Two weeks pregnant. I know exactly when I conceived and I know exactly how far along I was. If you are a woman who keeps track of your menstrual cycle like I do you know your body and you know when something is completely off. I had never felt anything like this before. Something was off. I was pregnant. <laughs> so those were the first first symptoms of me at least thinking that I was somewhat maybe pregnant. <laughs> the second thing was I was so bloated you guys like I said we were engaged we were about to get married that month okay and I could not fit in my wedding dress my wedding dress did not fit I didn't know what the heck I was going to do because I was just so bloated I had so much water weight on me I did not know what the heck was happening and of course in the back of my mind I was like I could be pregnant that's why I can't fit this dress and I always had the fear of that happening it was okay if that was going to happen but I did have that in the back of my mind because I bought my wedding dress so early but here we are the month of our wedding a couple of weeks before our wedding and I could not fit my wedding dress which was very odd very strange to me because I was working out daily I was eating correctly I was doing everything possible to look fit for the wedding in my wedding dress I wanted to look really really good and I just could not fit my wedding dress 
<laughs> that was the second sign that I was pregnant. The third sign, you guys, I was so irritable. Everything was just like ticking me off. My sisters were calling me Bridezilla, which, you know, <laughs> my sisters were calling me Bridezilla. I was just so irritable. Ryan and I were going at it like cats and dogs, okay? Anything and every little thing was just setting me off. I was just so irritable and I didn't think about it at that time. I'm thinking maybe it was just, you know, pre-wedding jitters. You know, we're going at it because we're stressing over, is everything taken care of? Is everyone going to be there? Is everyone going to look their best? Am I gonna look my best? Am I gonna fit in my wedding dress? <laughs> Those are all things that, you know, I was thinking about the whole time in the back of my mind. I knew I was pregnant. I never get motion sickness when it comes to airplanes or elevators or anything like that. That stomach drop in that elevator was not, <laughs> not normal, okay? It was something completely different, something I had never felt before. So in the back of my mind, I knew I was pregnant. I told my mom, like, mom, I know I'm pregnant. Like, I really, really think that I'm pregnant. And my mom's like, don't psych yourself out. The wedding's coming up. It's probably just stress. Like, don't even think about that right now. Just concentrate on the wedding. And yeah, but in the back of my mind, I knew I was pregnant. I was like, I'm pregnant. All of the signs, all of the symptoms, everything is saying that I'm pregnant. Symptom number four I had, I was so tired you guys i have always been a napper i take naps i can sleep for as long as possible any time of the day i'm a napper okay i just have to have a blanket and my feet covered but <laughs> i can nap okay this was like overly excessively tired yes the position that i was working at that time uh, was high stress and it would cause me to be very tired. I would work a lot of overtime hours, um, traveling back and forth and all of that. So it was common that I was going to be tired, but this was like to a whole new level of tired. Like I did not want to get out of bed. I was calling off of work. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I was calling off of work, you guys, just because I was so tired. I was just so tired, but I was tired because I was pregnant, you guys. I knew I was freaking pregnant. I just had to wait in order to take a test. I never once took a pregnancy test until I missed my period. And the reason why I did that was just because I didn't want to be hurt in the end. Like pregnancy is such a beautiful, beautiful moment in a woman's life. And I just didn't want that hurt, especially right before the wedding. Like, yes, I had something to look forward to. I was gonna be marrying my best friend, so I shouldn't really look at it being hurt, but we had been trying and we've been together for six years, you know, and I just never ended up pregnant. So I did not want to hurt my own feelings pretty much in the end of it. You know, I knew I was supposed to get my period right before my wedding and period never showed up okay that was the next sign after all the other signs how I knew I was pregnant my period never came you guys it never came and my period is never late it's very regular it's very on time and my period never showed up so it was three days before our wedding and I was supposed to have my period and my period never came. So I told my husband, if my period doesn't come by tomorrow, then I'm going to go ahead and take a test. He was all for it. So I went, we picked up the test, I got the test, and it said that I was pregnant. I had finally gotten my big, fat, positive pregnancy test that we had been waiting for for so freaking long, and I'm about to cry just thinking about it, but um, we cried, I cried, and he held me and hugged me, and I was so happy, and I was telling him, I knew I was pregnant, I knew I was pregnant, <laughs> I knew I'm not crazy, I knew I was pregnant, and yeah, so those are the signs and symptoms that I had. I really hope that this video helps you out. I know I really enjoyed and loved watching these videos when I was trying to find out if I was pregnant, if anyone had any common 
signs or symptoms like I did, make sure you drop in the comments below what your first signs and symptoms of pregnancy was because I would love to know if we have any of the same common symptoms or signs. And yeah, I hope this video helped. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.